Mm-mm-mm. What's happening, fam? LAL movement still moving. Racism in the media. As a black man, I can't. I get tired of watching television when a black person commits a crime or does something questionable or doesn't even do something questionable. They're plastered all over the place and demonized. When a non black person does something questionable or criminal, they're given a pass. You see, when there's a shooting, they make sure they, they show the ugliest mugshot of somebody else if they're black <laughs> or they in their family's face. And two black kids, two black men got in a shootout today and they were this one and this one. Look at them. They're menacing. They deserve life, don't they? Basically, that's what you're trying to say. Now some white people do something. There was a shooting today at a location and 72 shots were fired. Some people were hit. Some things happened. We'll get back to you. We don't know, any, we don't know anything else about the crime. We have cameras on the scene, but we don't know who, what, when, why, or where. We have no idea what journalism is today. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. I'm a sports fan. Black player watching football, black player drop a pass. He should have caught that. That ball was perfect. He, that's a routine. You know, that's a routine thing. Uh, that's a routine play that you have to make. It's automatic. You have to make stuff like that. There's no excuses. White player dropped the same pass. Mm. I guess he, you know, he just, he just missed that. The ball just skipped through his hand. I think it was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Maybe I think the quarterback was rushed and he threw it to, and the wind took it a little bit to the left and he just and it didn't come at him in the perfect way that he's he's normally used to. So I really can't blame him for not catching that pass. But he can't do that again. Well, you know, if it's not thrown to him perfectly again, then we're gonna say the same thing. Problem. You know? I think we need to bench this guy. I don't. I think he sucks. He doesn't need to be playing in this league. I don't think he has the mental capacity to do it. Hmm. Okay. White dude fucking up three or four years in a row. You know, if they surround him with better players, I'm sure he will be better. It's not him. He might have sucked for three years in a row, but I promise you, if they get like five all-stars around him, he will be the great, the great player that we all expected. Maybe that's because he ain't great because he ain't great. No, 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 not this one. He's tall. He's handsome. He looks good in his uniform. What does that have to do with him playing on a regular basis? Nothing. He doesn't have the mental capacity. No, they all have the mental capacity when they're white. Bullshit. When it comes to music, people can make great music when you're white and you become either accepted for your being exceptional or you're overrated. Never underrated, overrated. When you're black, when you're ignorant, you're exceptional. And overrated. When you're actually good, you're underrated and on the underground and always on the cusp of being something. Let me get some. Let me, let me, let me explain this to y'all. If a singer, if Beyonce started started singing from her started singing like India Ari subject matter and India Ari started acting like Beyonce the record sales would flip flop see what I'm saying if 
Jay-Z will rap like Lupe Fiasco, and Lupe Fiasco will rap like Jay-Z, their, their record sales will flip-flop. I'm just saying. So you're only great unless you're cooning. And making sense is nonsensical. Um, just like you go to listen to the radio, and you wonder why they're playing all these dumbass songs all the time. And you're like, I guess, people say, I guess they're not making anything. Well, here's the thing. If your radio DJ host playing ignorance 24-7, and the program director keeps, that's his boss, tells him to keep playing his dumb ass shit, and they keep listening. Nobody knows the program director selected all this stupid ass material. Nobody knows the program director is probably not black, so, so them pushing this ignorance is really not hurting them at all anyway. They're getting paid off of it because it's the number one station, right? They'll get a promotion, move somewhere else. But who's, the, but, but who's there every day? The DJ that you see out on the streets every night. Why are you playing kill us all, sell crack to us all, and give it to strippers every day? Well, you know, you know, I'm just trying to get this, I'm trying to get this boy, Stevie J shit, you know. Yeah, it's messed up. So you, you got sellouts. And at the same time, people are acting slow, like people with no uh, gumption. Talked about that, you know, movie, TV shows, it's the same thing, same old, same old. Um, my point is, pay close attention to how the media skews every story, because, let's be real, there is no way in hell, in this vast country, of all the good things that go on for one, because, I don't care what race you are. Good deeds are not put out into the world at all. Not in America. Mm -mm. You can't do some good shit and be plastered all over the place and be looked at as a positive person. And that, and, and you, that, you should wonder why. You should really wonder why you don't see good material. That says something about our society. And like I said before, who's running our society? If the bulk of the people running our society are empty then the material they're going to put out in our society is empty. But it's also biased for those same reasons. Because somebody's got to feel better about themselves. And to be perfectly honest, that's the funny part about racism. All of this is just to feel better about yourself. Excuse me, feel better about yourself. And if you need to put somebody down to feel better about you, Not, it's not good, Lucy. Not good.